technology. But uh, what what evidence of of apocalypse technology was was there? The buildings, the you saw uh, outside when you were uh, seeing uh, the the some of the ruins and things like that. There were great constructs and things that had definitely to Mr. Miracle's uh, eye had that kind of look, but again, that's more thematic than it is specific. And certainly you Just saw a number of pieces of uh, technology that had come over from Apocalypse before, so maybe somebody did figure out how to, to rework it. The one thing that does give you pause is the fact that they did identify the boom tube and the, the apocalyptic energy. Mm. By the way, I did start recording. I forgot to start the recording when we uh, started earlier. So, just give you a heads up on that. I fucking hate this game! Oh, sorry. I know. So, uh, Th Thor, you kind of... That's that's your thinking about that and, and what you've seen. I mean, you, you're not sure. There's so much you just don't know yet about the, the situation. Um, and you go, well, maybe I'll ask Miracle. And you yes, turn, he knows more about... And you realize that Miracle has gone. Where did... did uh, has anyone seen where our companion has gone? And Loki? And Loki will go, oh, I'm assuming he went off to go back to your base. That seems like the kind of thing he would do by himself. Ah, uh, we should go and follow him. He's going to get in tr into trouble. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we'll con consider that uh, 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 Freeze, Mr. Freeze, you and Iron Man and Mrs. Freeze are all working on building these jammers for the Sentinels. Mm -hmm. um, Nightcrawler, you're checking out the, the, the subway tunnels at this point. And Miracle, you yep. are going to try and figure out and find your way back to the base. So mm -hmm. let's start with you making a. Oh gosh. I, what kind of skill roll in this weird, twisted world do I think I want to have you make? And I think that's actually going to be a survival roll. Survival, huh? Well, that's not that's a funny. Great I was one. thinking the word survival a millisecond before you, saw, before you said it. <clears throat> oh boy, let's use a hero point on that one. Okay. Still not good. <laughs> 18. So it will take you longer than you want it to. And now you get to make your stealth roll to avoid detection by Sentinel All units. Right. Stealth's a little better. Oh, come on. Come on, do I have to? You could have taken uh, Nightcrawler with you. Uh, <laughs> 22. Uh, you will be Never saw him again. unable uh, to, to get too close to the base by yourself. Um, there are more Sentinels around here. Remember, your base is sort of in the heart of, of New York. Um, mm -hmm. But you will also now see that there are teams of people patrolling the streets beyond the sentinels that there are figures in different uniforms and things some of them with kind of visible signs of mutations or powers um, and then others and this is what bothers you others dressed in green and yellow mm -hmm. uniforms you'll see men chained together and you will hear at least one of these sort of supervisors who is it looks like a paranormal will shout for them to bring the hunger dog squadrons forward and do the next construction shift and you will see them moving along groups essentially more of the lowlies and the hunger dogs being moved around this place they are working and engineering this place. It is not apocalypse, but yet 
it rings so close to that. Such a, a, a terraforming that's going on here. But you're not able to get close enough to the, the base by yourself. You think that you run too much the risk of detection. All right. Um, now let's head back and uh, let the guys know what I've found. Okay. So you will probably meet Thor uh, uh, essentially uh, in the tunnels there as, as Miracle returns. Um, and again, Miracle's uh, disguise is probably a cloak pulled up, right? Mm-hmm. But still the yellow cape, the green cape and the yellow, right? Yep. Okay. So it's pretty obvious that it's Miracle when you see him, Thor. Ah, good. You're what? You uh, didn't get uh, uh, hurt. We should get back to the rest. I think they've got the jammers done. Were you successful in getting to the base? I wasn't. Things are worse than we had feared. This does seem like the homeland that you spoke spoke of, except I do not understand you what it is with this Vandal Savage. I, I don't understand that either, but everything I see, it's like a, uh, a pale reflection of Apocalypse. We'll head back and get our jammer so we can try to get, get, get to our base where all the answers are. <laughs> well, not we to hope. Base, but let's. Uh, do we want to go? Do we want to go back to the other place? So you guys will gather up again. Um, the jammers are handed out. Um, Nightcrawler will be able to to do a quick check and essentially move out with the 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 jammer on quietly, and your signal will not be detected, Nightcrawler. Nice. <clears throat> um, okay. Really, I'll see. Is it possible for us to determine? Uh, I, I think we should do it before we start making assumptions. What world are we on? I mean, can we determine if we're on Earth? Or we are on Earth Prime, I guess, but apparently, it's. We need to find out if it's five years past the date we left, or somebody came back in time and messed stuff up. Well. So I mean, if the cars are different models. Well, Iron Man can can actually do this um, by essentially doing probably a star reading, the stellar position, to confirm that you are, in fact, A, on Earth, and B, confirm that the date is the day that you expected. It is, okay. it is 2014. So Okay, so in any of these cars or anything like that, can we find some paper? I mean, any kind of documentation, any kind you of... You mean the kind that Nightcrawler gathered before? I mean, did he? Is, it, is that what he got? He got a whole bunch of stuff? Yeah, yeah. The, the paperwork. Okay, so that's probably got a date on it, too, so we're there. <laughs> I mean, is the language the same? Yes. Is, okay. Is there anything that is, um, like, the, the date of manufacture of these cars? Sure, of, you, you know, can, the, you of, the, of, of like the, the train cars or something like that. The train <coughs> cars are probably 20 some years old. You get okay, and they're a weird design that we don't recognize. They're very utilitarian and they're not like the subways that we were used to. That is correct. I'm sorry, probably okay. not 20 years old, maybe like, like 15 years old. Okay, so somebody messed with time, is what I'm thinking. Well, let's go to the base and see. And that'll give us clues. Well, I mean, do we? If somebody messed with time, we don't have a base. Well, the base was older than 15 years years ago. It may, we may have never found the base. It may still be a. Well, let's do this. Can we grab somebody? I mean, is there? Did, did you see anybody who was not in a, sla a slave gang? We hey, saw. Those that were running it, and, and those that were slaves. I mean, there was no, from what I heard, there was no, there was no like, just civilians. Okay, let's do this. Subways. Let's go to I mean, a library. Let's go to a place that's got a lot of information. 
you know, maybe those are all destroyed. But is there, um... Yeah, turning this into apocalypse, or if it's, you know, uh, the apocalypse, the impressions that we see up, there, there are no lovers of apocalypse. Well, I'm, I'm thinking nobody uses them, but could be destroyed. Um... What about um, what about going farther out away from the city and finding somebody who is is free that they haven't completely contr- taken over all the areas so far? And you guys will hear. Perhaps we could be of assistance to you, Mister Freeze. Ah! And you will hear that, Mr. Freeze, and you look around and you don't see anybody else react to that voice. Uh, did you guys just hear something? Hear what? No. Okay, so I will go through my auditory logs and uh, I will play it. You will not pick up anything. I'm speaking directly into your mind, Mr. Freeze. Okay, I have someone talking to my mind. Or I'm going crazy. Who are you? If you wish to speak with those who fight against Vandal Savage... Definitely. We definitely want to speak to those people. Then you will follow my instructions. I will send into your mind a set of pathways for you to reach a safe haven. Okay, why should I believe you? You have no reason to believe me, Mr. Freeze. Okay. But I will offer this map to you, and uh, if you wish, you may come and speak with us. We're interested in speaking with you, why don't you tell us something here that we can use that is that um, that the opposition wouldn't want us to hear, but you would want us to hear? What's the weakness of the Sentinels? There is no weakness to the Sentinels. Mr. Okay. Freeze, they are a multi-adaptive, <coughs> morphic robots, but they are only part of Apocalypse's <coughs> arsenal. Okay, well, he's going to. Uh, okay, so he's going to give us, give me these directions. Okay. He will will send the directions into your mind. Okay. And you can see, as you kind of look out in the air, there's almost like a kind of a, a map glow that appears mm-hmm. before you for the direction that you are to go in. Do I have any idea where this essentially leads to, or is it just giving me the, the first instruction to start? Um, you have been around, it's actually a, a pretty deep section of the sewers. Um, actually, some of the, the, the deeper under chambers. Does it have to do, like, where we met the Mole Man? Closer to that, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I may know who our guy is, or at least who some of his allies are. Which would be a very good ally. Okay, then, um... Lead on, Mr. Freeze. I will will follow it. Okay. Um, We'll be very careful. And, uh, you guys will move along. Uh, Miracle... Those crystals are still hot, by the way. Mm-hmm. They still have a kind of a, an, an energy to them that they didn't have before since you've returned. Hmm. Now, when we looked at the white crystal before in the past, we were able to kind of um, get glimpses of kind of uh, the fact that it was a prison or people trapped inside of it, right? You were able to, through essentially projecting your mind forward through your new god technologies and mental techniques, yes. Yeah, because I have a question. I want to try to do that again because, like, we were talking about the base, right? If things had changed so much in the past, you know, could there be a contradiction, you know, where these would be empty now? Um, or, you know, do we still have, or they still have the prisoners in them? you make a uh, let me see here I'm going to have you make a wisdom roll straight wisdom Uh, straight wisdom that's not great no it isn't is it 
<laughs> it's right. called Leroy. Yeah. All right, so that's not working again. Old D twenty. Boom. That was nice. <laughs> About as good as I could do. <laughs> These are... As you're kind of looking into the, 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 the gem, you will see it morph. You know, it's a kind of a crystal shard. Mm -hmm. It actually shifts, kind of crackles with energy, and you'll see it rest in your hand. It's more like a gem in your hand now. Mm -hmm. like a Like a smooth... Great big smooth opal in your hand. Uh huh. Um, and there is a lot of energy in there because there's some kind of chron chrono paradox revolving around this gem. Hmm. This might uh might go to confirm those suspicions that uh. Time has been altered by the uh, cabal. Uh, uh, so, uh, Nightcrawler, I assume you're kind of taking point as you're you're heading down here, since I think you can see see in the dark and hide in shadows. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, you will move along again. Uh, a, a little more familiar here. It's very clear that the last 20 years of development here have been different for the, the subways and things. Some of the older things that are older than, say, 20 years look fairly similar, but then there's other... The, the more recent stuff has definitely changed. But then, beyond that, a lot of the infrastructure has collapsed. Things haven't been used or there's been changed around, and, and certainly the subways themselves haven't been used in five years. Okay. And you will eventually move down again into those great big uh, 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 deep deep projects the ones for the the second layer developments and and for water tunnels and things get into one of those abandoned ones and you will see up ahead a familiar sight and you will see figures with spears made of, of uh, rebar iron wound together and things, and you will see some of those, the Mole Men's people who watch carefully from the shadows as you and yours approach. And sure. uh, you will come forward, and they will kind of flank around you hostily. They clearly don't know you. Mm -hmm. They watch you with care. They, they look okay. up and eventually be brought into a room and you will see that there are uh, a couple of figures there. Um, one of them you will recognize as uh, the wo one of the women that you fought before. One of the women who was uh, with uh, 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 Magneto before. Uh, that uh, uh, woman rogue who you saw mm -hmm. um, and she is there and there are a couple of others who look familiar um, and you will see Mole Man who regards you with great suspicion it's the same. does he like recognize me do I like have... not at all he clearly regards you as somebody dangerous and to be worried about he doesn't hmm doesn't give you any hint of acknowledgement despite your time Previous. having worked alongside him. Yeah. Uh, so, maybe I suspect that this is not the same Mole Man that I've... Yes, we never met him because we were in time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely... Uh, that, that definitely seems to be the case. Okay. Who's the one that spoke to you? It's Rogue. Yeah, it was... Let's go... Hang on one second, let me find a picture here. Not general images, so. Here he is. Sorry, hang on one second. We'll pull up. Sorry, of course, I've missed. 
placed some of the pictures that I had ready for things. Well, in any case, uh, you'll see uh, the rogue woman, and then you will see a figure roll forward in a wheelchair. And uh, he is seated. He looks old, worn out, um, and clearly has been through, through quite a bit. And uh, you can see he is bald. Uh, and you don't recognize him, and he will say... Does he look like Lord Xavier? Yes, he looks exactly like Lord Xavier. Hmm. He will say, Greetings to you, Mr. Freeze. Greetings. Uh -uh. Oh. Greetings to you, Xavier. Is it Lord, or Doctor, or Mr., or what? Uh, he is somewhat taken aback, and he will go... It is merely Charles Xavier. Mm -hmm. You may not realize where we've met. I... As I have met the Mole Man and Rogue here. And Rogue will kind of look at you, and he will go, Well, it is a strange thing since... And he will point to you, Nightcrawler. You I have seen before, but not like this. Yes, I think we've met her as well. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. But tell me, how is it that you have a male version of one of the four horsemen with you? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, this is a long story, and I believe that uh, we left Earth... Uh, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far well, away. Well, we left Earth, and after we've left, apparently someone has caused a time anomaly to destroy and reorder this world into an apocalyptic version of our former Earth. What? And what? this... Yeah, it's a long story. Um, we're trying to fill in the details right now. You can scan my mind if you would like and determine if I'm lying to you or not. Um, uh, I met you on another planet where you were, you and your weird men were um, fighters on a medieval world. Weird men? Yes. We, we were... We've been dimension hopping. And he will look around and, well, let me, I'm Xavier, this is Rogue. He will introduce a couple of the others who are around and he will introduce Mole Man who grumbles. And, and you, who are you? Who, who's he? Oh, who, who's he? He three saying? gestures to your group. He wants you to introduce yourselves. Well, we are first wave, and apparently on this version of events, we are called lost wave or something like that. We're not sure. No, lost wave is the term for rebel paranormals, those uh -huh. who have not become part of the demon forces of Vandal Savage, his parademons. Um, they are called lost waves. It's a reference to the signals that now we were at, catch for them. Uh, we were at... Uh, do they do are you currently um well we have made some minor jammer jammers stark and i have made some minor jammers and we've been able to uh to stop some of these signals stark. and went further st iron man he's not related to howard stark is he well he's a clone of his son howard stark didn't have a son yeah, well, like I said, there's been some time well, strangeness going right. on. And and who is the rest of your cadre? Oh, this is... I will let you introduce, them, introduce them, themselves. I am Thor, God of Thunder, Prince of Asgard. Uh-huh. He is. All right, fair enough. 
I am Nightcrawler. <laughs> Nightcrawler. Uh, the Nightcrawler of this world, Lady Nightcrawler, is not of this world. Uh, I know her only as Dark Child. She is one of the four horsemen who serves at uh, Apocalypse, Lord Savage's uh, beck and call. And you, uh, and he kind of narrows his eyes as he sees the the orange and yellow and uh, sorry, it's a yellow, red, and green costume. I'm Mr. Miracle, the world's greatest escape artist. Um, I hail from Apocalypse, which it seems this world is swiftly becoming. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. Yeah, I think we're going to have a long conversation. Um, uh, who are the four the four horsemen of the apocalypse? The four horsemen. Uh, there is Callisto, um, uh, who is uh, uh, death. Uh, there is Callisto. Uh, is she the one who has bone shards? Oh, sorry, no, not Callisto. Um, she's actually famine. Sorry. Um, there's Callisto, who's famine. Uh, there is uh, the the Hulk, uh, who is uh, pestilence. Uh, there is Dark Child, who is death, and finally there is Orion, who is war. Orion. Yes. It doesn't surprise me that he'd be war, but it does surprise me that he would be working for. This, you you know Orion? Oh, he's my brother. I, I'm sorry. How can he be? I, I then. You are Savage's brother as well. Um, Savage is the son of Darkseid. Orion is said to be his brother. He. He became the the, 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 the fourth horseman uh, just just a short time ago, uh, bound and uh, uh, armored, uh, a, a screaming, raging force for destruction. Okay. Let's actually let's try and, and merge our stories and figure out what's going on. When did Apocalypse start? Ascending. When did this? I mean, has this? How long has this nightmare, horrible situation been existing in existence? Uh, he goes. What? What part of it do you mean? I meant the Sentinels roving around, uh, Vandal Savage in charge. There's no democracy in the United States. Savage has always worked behind the scenes. He was amongst the earliest members of a group known as the Cabal. Mm, yeah, the plot thickens. Yes, we were aware of that. Tied together and funded by How Stark. Stark Enterprises and other forces. Okay, how long has it been since they have overtly ruled? What do you mean, they? Uh, you mean well, Vandal Savage in general, as uh, uh, instead of the president of the United States and uh, things like that. It was uh, just before the millennium in 1999 ah. that Savage came out from behind the scenes and with the Sentinel Stalker program created by Oscorp and the others, first unleashed a devastating wave across the United States. Okay. Yeah, well see this is uh, this is basically where the point is. And um before in the centennial or in the bis what is it? I'm sorry, in the uh, millennium um there was a 4th of July terrorist attack nope, which is you are off by about by about 12 years, Carl. Okay. Well, I'll give them the history that we do. So in it's your world Super 
beings have only been out for a short time. Yes. Yes, the cabal, the cabal. There has been kept others them, kept them secret. Yes. And eliminated those that did not uh, uh, obey uh, them. In our world, the cabal never gained such power. Super beings came and existed. The cabal was a dangerous force in the shadows, but fed upon itself. And there were some, like myself, who joined them for a time before realizing that their goals did not match mine. Yes, uh, we knew you as a member of the cabal. Oh, well then hopefully they were a force for good on your world. No. No. They were, you could even call them worse than, than the guys here. They went out and tried for a bid for power. They tried to collapse other universes to gain all the energy from those universes to basically turn themselves into god. <laughs> We've been going around trying to fix some of the problems that have they have created. Well, uh, Freeze, just a correction. If they're turning Earth into Apocalypse, I think these guys are worse. No, we turned, yeah, no, we wiped out other universes. We didn't do it, the Cabal did. They wiped out other universes. So, I'm... I'm the, mor the, the morality I, I think, yes. is hard to, hard to judge there. Yes, it's... It's all bad. So when did you decide that the Cabal was not for you? What changed your mind in this universe? There were incidents, uh, battles with friends that went on. The Cabal was was a dangerous force, but there was a war as more and more parahumans appeared. Um, tensions that arose between those who had powers and those who did not. Okay. Savage gathered those who were fearful and made of them his legions, his parahuman oh. demons. Um, and he he overcame the cabal and was able to turn its energies to his own ends. I knew some who had served in the cabal, and to them it seemed as if Savage knew at every turn what they would do. So, according to our history, though, didn't the Cabal have a hand in events far, far before? Yes. The millenn millennium, even back into like World War II, right. or yeah. the Cabal. He'll say the Cabal was founded by Savage and the others in the, the fifties. Okay. So okay. But, so, but they never they never clamped down on. I mean, when did superheroes start to show up in great numbers on this world? Uh, you know, they started to appear. Well. They, they were, of course, the ones who fought in World War II. Um, they have a shield, like one of like, them have a shield like, like he'll this gesture, thing? He'll gesture to Miracle and go, like Captain America. Um, and uh, then uh, there was a uh, an explosion of uh, new talents developing in the 60s and on. And that never happened in our his history, correct? We That's never correct. heard of Captain America? Right, because you know, you know for a fact that the Cabal carefully clamped down on them and either killed them off or co-opted them. And somebody had a uh, like a big pair of purple pants who was. Well, why okay. did they do that here? I guess is the, in this what changed back then. That, that. Well, you said the Cabal didn't have real power. They were just um, they were they weren't coherent. They, were they, they, they never gained the... I mean, you'll compare notes, and it's pretty clear that they never gained the coherency and strength and determination and vision that they had in that world. So and we don't well, know... If we, they... if, we, if we name the Cabal members that we know of, is there someone missing? Stephen Strange? Uh, no, I mean, that... it, it's... Uh, it seems like to you... Uh, like something changed about how they operated. And Vandal Savage has had, he was able to 
anticipate their movements or whatever their plans were at every turn. So maybe he was either you know had access to a time machine and was looking at what was going on or something like that. Um. Okay. And what waited? Waited until we were gone to affect these changes. You don't know. <clears throat> All right. I mean, I, it has to, obviously has to be Vandal Savage that changed changed the way that the Cabal Cabal had worked um, to affect a different different outcome. I want to ask about the horsemen of the apocalypse. What do they do and how are they made and what do we know about them and so they where are they come from? Terrifying, powerful uh, uh, paranormals. Um, Vandal Savage has great technology. Um, uh, created drawn. them? Pardon? He created them? I do not know if he created them or if he simply transformed them into the forms they are um, uh, or, or how that that occurs. Um, I'm uncertain. Are they under his mental control? Do they have... Are they coerced? I've been they... unable to determine that. Uh, his... His inner circle have powerful mental shields. And uh, the, beyond that, uh, they have uh, a dark figure, the Shadow Queen, um, uh, 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 Giovanni uh, Scaldi. She acts as a mental barrier, keeping me from pushing too hard for fear of being tracked back to here. Um, and her the Dark Queen's forces are essentially our a dangerous set of furies that she brings to bear. Hmm... And uh, but of the the horsemen are the most powerful of of ap apocalypse's men. Is that a, is that another name for Vandal Savage? Yes, he's called Apocalypse or Vandal Savage. Okay, so Callisto is fam. Now is Callisto the, the name we know? That's the Bone Girl, right? No, that was that. That was the Morlock leader. That uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she had what did she? I mean, she she doesn't do bones stuff. She's just got essentially hyper reflexes and some precognition. You're um, thinking of marrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So well, pre Okay. What kind of precognition? Hey, How, did we know much about it? I mean, no, you don't. Because you guys didn't get all that much on her in the time that she was in prison. Remember, she vanished. Oh. Okay. So we we have to figure out how he affected these changes, and we have to just just move back. Lady Nightcrawler is death. Uh, Hulk is pestilence. What? Pestilence. So Hulk in our world was well. I guess I don't know that, but anyways. So what what are the power? Right? Like what does pestilence do? I mean, it sounds like he spreads disease, which doesn't sound like a name for Hulk. He was war until Orion took or was given his spot not too long ago. Well, I mean, uh, does he spread disease? The old pestilence did. I have no idea what the new one does. The old pestilence was killed for betraying Vandal Savage. Hmm. Who was that? Uh, it was a figure known as Mr. Sinister. Sounds trustworthy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's like it's like the Decepticons. The okay. word Decepticon <laughs> is right in their name. <laughs> but the, keep in mind, Vandal Savage has many, many forces. He has the Madri priests, the Dark Riders, the Modok corpse. The infants. <laughs> Tiny little arms. Mm. This is what you've seen. The sentinels outside, they are just the tip of the iceberg. Too bad we don't have a telus. A what? Uh, 
uh, Telus is a device that the um, exiles use to um, figure out what to do and when they jump to a new place. Oh. <laughs> Well, we need we need to figure out how Savage uh, arranged this and go back and go back and prevent it. Basically, okay. whatever 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 stopped the Cabal from getting the vision that they 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 got. At, all, that's what altered the, the the future here. So we need. Okay, so you have. Do you? I've got, uh, I've got one question for him. Um, Please. These um, these engines we see, the fire pits, these you know bizarre engines and structures that you, we've seen in the landscape. When did these first appear? Because these did not appear to be the technology of Earth. No, it is a good point. Uh, hold on, there's we have one who has been studying them. Perhaps he can explain further, and uh, he will will send. And uh, after a bit, you will see. A person that you've seen before, Nightcrawler, you will see Forge come in, um, and he will. Forge that I, but we don't, we don't know each other, right? I mean, right. He doesn't recognize you, but he looks like the Forge that you know. Though he has a cybernetic arm, and he looks badly, badly scarred from fighting. Um, and uh, he will come in, and we'll get. Uh, Xavier, I do not have time for this. Who who are these people? And he'll kind of come over to where Iron Man is and Mr. Freeze, and he'll look at your equipment. Oh, this is this is in quite good shape. Uh, this is a 37 diode on this, Mr. Freeze? Is that your name, right? Yes, my name is Mr. Freeze. Uh, and this over here? What is this? Yeah. Is, this a, is this a rebuffer on this? Yes, this is uh, many things. It's got... Uh, most interesting, and he'll he'll kind of do that, and and Xavier will say, uh, "Forge, this man, Mister Miracle, he has a question for you." Huh? Yes. What is it? Yeah. I think you went out there, Matt. Do we first appear, and what do you know about them? It seems to me that uh, Savage has been setting up to build these for some time. Um, they're, uh, the various factories that he's building are across the, the, the city and actually across the region. A lot of them have been completed already. They form a, a complex pattern and set of energies here. Um, let me show you. And he will pull out uh, a, a set of papers. Again, no like recent maps everything is that kind of ha uh, carefully hand drawn mm -hmm. um, like, a, like a draftsman style for mm -hmm. it really has that sort of precision he'll lay that out and he will show you what this pattern looks like um, and it looks very familiar to you Mr. Miracle mm -hmm. because he's building some kind of mother box huh something like that on a massive scale. That's very interesting, Forge. And uh, I will produce my mother box and show it, show it to him. I'll go. It looks almost like this. Yes, yes, it is. It is like this. I don't know what he's doing, but it seems to me that he is gathering up a great deal of energy. Uh, people, uh, para... para Parahumans who do not match his standards are thrown into the pits to become energy sources for this. And I have some reason to believe that it has something to do with creating an, creating a portal. Does my interdimensional physics roll um, give me a, a... Make a roll for me. You've Got seen better. his boom tube... Mm -hmm. You've seen the stuff that uh, uh, Miracle can do. You have interdimensional physics. It looks to you like what he's building is a massive system to open a planetary scale boom tube. To go somewhere or to bring something here? To bring something here. Okay. 
So, so okay, so planetary the size of Earth? Yeah, roughly. Roughly, is, roughly the size of, say, Apocalypse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so Apocalypse is about the same size of Earth. Um, Miracle a little maybe? smaller. Mr. Miracle? Well, okay. a little smaller to scale, but right. much bigger because all the new gods are actually hundreds of feet tall, and they <laughs> shrink when they go to your universe. But, well, it's a whole... It, it, it's on a different dimensional frequency as to how that actually <laughs> Oh, works. okay. So, okay. So that's what he's trying to do. Why this, would this, he want to bring Apocalypse here? He's doing just fine turning this place into... Yeah, but does he want to kill uh, Darkseid? seems like there'd be better ways to do that. Oh, Darkseid doesn't want to kill. No, no, no. But Vandal Savage wants to... He wants to become Darkseid, apparently. Or something like that. So why would he bring Darkseid here? I cannot say Vandal Savage's plans. He has been militarizing everything for the last five years. Um, grading the great fast factories. Scouring the, the, the earth for resources. Grading, grading the great fast... What is, that? What is, that? What is a fast factory? Creating the vast Cre factories. The create. Okay, I was. I said grading the fast factories. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, that would have been like good Kirby word salad. Yeah. Does, <laughs> has, has Xavier ever heard of of Kang? Kang. No. No. Who is who is Kang? Kang was a uh, apparently a time. Tr uh, Traveler who uh, you'll have to talk to Iron Man to, to uh, uh, made clones of of Tony Stark and I'm not sure exactly if if he was supposed to be the re the original or or exactly what he was. You confuse me, Asgardian. I I don't quite understand, but all right. But no, I do not know Kang. He was not amongst the Cabal. What did we know of, of, did you of, of Kang, what did we know of Kang from from you that? Know, you that know, he was a member of the Cabal. That was and we about also know it. he was Tony Stark. Yes, that too. He was what? He Tony, was Tony Stark? Stark. Oh, okay. So he was never a member of the Cabal right. here. But here's the thing is, uh, Howard Stark never had a son. Right. Ah, maybe that... That's one of the... Oh, okay, okay, so that's right, that's right. Vandal Savage killed off, or... Okay, so were the... Is the Cabal, for instance, Howard Stark, um, Stephen Strange, are these people, were these people killed in the war with um, Vandal Savage, or, or, or do you know? Because I I left the cabal early enough that I'm not certain who was exactly involved with that, but certainly and I know Doctor Strange was a member who passed on. And he will name other old arch villains and stuff that. Okay, so Doctor Strange died. Yes. Okay. Have you ever heard of one called Reed Richards? Reed Richards? No. Okay. No, though that. For some reason, that strikes me as... Ho hold on. You're not the first extra-dimensional person that we've had an encounter with, but uh, the other one that we met... Was who? Uh, well, he's headed on. He went to, to seek out a, uh, a place in downtown, but he wasn't a human. Uh, clearly wasn't from your world. Who was he? Tell me it wasn't an ape. Yes, uh, he called himself Dr. Simeon. <laughs> oh, great. That's... And he asked about Richards? He asked about Richards as well. He, uh, he just he went asked, downtown? Like, I mean, within the last... Perhaps a few weeks ago. And um, he went downtown. Do you know where anywhere he was going downtown? I don't know where he was headed. Hmm. He okay, this may be... In a little dislikable, but... Uh, he uh, he was looking for Franklin Richards. Okay. And, and there, 
And Franklin Richards, also, you do not know anything of? Not, not someone I was familiar with, no. Okay, so maybe we want to track down. Okay, so you're, you're not familiar with Franklin Richards. Uh, not even sure. What, in, what information existed. did you? What information did you give him that you might think that Franklin that he would go downtown for Franklin Richards? He asked us about the statuses, some some as you had. I assumed that he was merely foreign, but eventually he revealed that he had come from from elsewhere. Um, he said he was looking for Franklin Richards, and then he was uh, looking for an old Cabal base. Okay. He asked he if we had knew anything about if Savage had any gems. Hmm. And did you know anything about them? Well, yes, he has. That's one of the sources of his power, the gems. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, I thought you... I thought you under I thought you knew Savage. Uh, we know a little bit of him, but that's about it. Um, he is personally potent. He has control over the minds and bodies of others, and uh, he possesses a, a gauntlet uh, uh, marked with gems. Oh shit! <laughs> My guess is we got two of them, though. <laughs> he has six gems, mm -hmm. and the the gauntlet has. Six places, mm. five white gems and a green. Mm. Five white gems, <coughs> and we got a white gem and a green gem. Yes. Infinity gauntlet, space, time, mind. Is this because uh, the uh, reality soliloquy <laughs> in uh, in uh, uh, Parks and Recreation is coming true? <laughs> 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 is that what this is? <laughs> Then, yeah, we'll do a Star Wars game next, okay? <laughs> oh, I know what you should call it. Star Wars, but good. <laughs> so, you've heard that Dr. Symbian has arrived shortly before you guys did. You've heard mm -hmm. that Orion apparently somehow is here and has been captured by... Uh, Vandal Savage, who calls himself Lord Apocalypse. You've heard about the four horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, you'll see that uh, Xavier seems to be running a kind of a... For those parahumans who are lost waivers like yourself, he's using uh, Mole Man to essentially form a refugee camp to, to move them out of the area. Kind of uh, like a an X-Factor or something like that. He might be considered an X-Factor in the situation, yes. Now, is the rest of the world like this, or is it just He'll New York City? It's North America. Parts of Europe have been converted. Uh, refugees have fled elsewhere. Um, Savage. Savage has ens enslaved all those who are uh, flat scanners and uh, made them into the what he calls the hunger dogs to serve the, the various furnaces that, that he has built around. Okay. Um... So there it's are relatively undisturbed countries around. Relatively undisturbed. They're still patrolled and burned by sentinels. Oh, okay. So there are no existing other governments. Uh, well, they exist, but they have forced to, to fight back against. There are places, rumors of different uh, uh, human humanities... Uh, Last resistance cells in various okay. places, but yeah, that's uh, that's 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 what I needed. Okay, okay, so okay. Well, it's far up. better to fight than to succumb to no, anti-life. No, I was I was thinking that uh, yes. we might be able to get some more detailed information, which we're not going to get. Um, well, um, let me. Do you want? Uh, I I think we have two pressing. Okay. Things going on here right now. Number one. <laughs> The constant burr in our butts, Simeon. <laughs> um, number two, from what Ford showed us, it looks like they're trying to build a mother box writ large. Right. Um, so, the way I see it, I understand mother boxes. Mm-hmm. 
if we have a map of what he's trying to do, mm -hmm. perhaps I can isolate key points for us to attack and disrupt. Yeah, I was thinking that exact, exact thing. Um, to uh, yeah, I was thinking of that. Um, I was also thinking that you know again. Instead of, you know being saved by the uh, or in the frying pan, and we could get throw ourselves into the fire by um, uh, finding out what uh, your dad would think of these plans. That sounds like could be a really really bad idea. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Goes. Yeah, you're not doing it right, Vandal Savage. I'll show you how to do it. Although. Uh I was rather disturbed by the suggestion that Vandal Savage is Orion's brother. So, okay, you do you believe from your, your understanding of Orion, Orion would he ever willingly sa uh, serve um, uh, uh, Vandal Savage? I can't imagine it. Um, he was the noblest soul ever born of Apocalypse. So, why would he serve Darkseid? I can't imagine dark side and him were were natural born enemies. Oh, they were they were in a a, a death spiral bound by prophecy. Okay, well, maybe well any, well any kind of control might. I mean, Orion could be subject to control. Right, one right, thing right. he would never do is serve dark side. Okay, so he could be convinced to help kill dark side. <laughs> Oh, it wouldn't take any convincing. Okay, so that might be what he's doing. Except, why does he need to bring Apocalypse here? And does that make any sense? Why didn't he just build a small one and go to Apocalypse? And, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to disarm uh, you Mike, you know what you know, my off-the-wall theory is? Yes. That's, what is it? That Vandal Savage is Mr. Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Pull off that mask! <laughs> it looked like him! Infiltrator! You no, know, if, I, if I think about Scott Free and draw a beard on him... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, the one thing is, of course, the, the various shots of, of Vandal Savage have, have more than uh, enough appearance of Apocalypse that the it all kind of fits together. And Thanos. They all have the same blocky jaw design. And you're summoning a... Apocalypse, so you can kill your father. That's my theory. Such feelings. Okay. So, so has 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 Xavier ever heard of Asgardians or Thor or any before? No, Have they no, ever visited? No. That's not something I'm familiar with. And. Uh, you will see a woman come in. Uh, she looks like she's walking with a cane, and she will say, uh, Xavier, we must move. Uh, we've been detected. Okay. And no uh, he will will say to you, I must take my compatriots, and we must head deeper. Will you come with us? Yes. Let's do that. Wait, wait do we, we don't have a plan right now, do we? Other than find Simeon, yeah, he says, find we'll, Simeon or disrupt the mother box. He'll um, say, we, I'm, we're, I'm going to take our forces. We should, we, we should be able to get out of the city within four or five days. Okay, we gotta get, we get, we gotta. Lost you there, Carl. Is that me or is that you guys? And that's the point at which I lost the connection with them. Hey, you there? Hey, sweetie. Hello. Hey, Sorry. sweetie. As I was saying, we need to find Simeon. He knows hang more on, Scott, what's going hang on. Hang on, hang on, to everybody yeah. gets back. Okay. Hey. 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 Scott, you were saying? 
I said that we need to find Simeon. He seems to know better than us, or at least has an idea what's going on. And, yes. And the impression I got was that Z Xavier sort of let uh, sort of led him towards the the our base or what he called Certainly an old pointed in that direction. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I will have so. a few minutes conversation with uh, Forge. Okay. It's like, look, this is what we did um, to uh, mask the, your signals. This might help you out. He'll go, we're low on equipment, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, I've, he'll say, I, uh, what you have there will work for a short time. But you will need to constantly change and update it. Uh, okay. the, the Sentinels, and he'll explain to you how their technology works and what you're going to need to do to, to try and keep it ahead of the, the, the scanning technology as it changes. Okay. And you guys will gather yourselves together, fair, bid farewell to Forge and uh, uh, Rogue and the others. There's clearly some discussion amongst them, but Mole Men will shepherd them down into the tunnels, and you guys will head back up to make your way through the underground of this dark and blasted New York to find your way, the screams of the dying and the dams in the background, um, to uh, uh, find and uh, locate your former base. And that's what we're going to take up next time, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, so again, for the schedule, um, we're going to play just to about 9.30 at the latest next time. Okay. And then we're going to miss that following session, and then we'll play regularly. And I'll send a, a note about that. Uh, two points, everybody. Woo. That's good.